Starts off with this whack ass fake movie. I wouldn't want to pay to watch this bullshit. Janet Jackson's at the drive in theater with her boyfriend Q Tip. He's trying to get some ass, but Janet Jackson won't give it up till he gets her some snacks. Some popcorn and some juju beans and some bonbons. While he's getting the snacks, he's spotted by some niggas he previously had beef with. Look, look at his face, dude. That's not him. That's him, dude, I'm telling you. That's him. Hey, this the nigga that shot Ricky. This nigga loves shooting people, bro. He go pretty hard for a light-skinned nigga. Oh, yeah, spoilers. Q-Tip goes back to the car and is finally about to get some ass. <laughs> it's later now, and Janet Jackson is still silently grieving over Q-Tip. She's sad. She's wearing all black and shit. It's a vibrant thing. Make the other mad as move it. She works at a salon and Tupac comes in. He a mailman. He tries to holler, but these bitches waste his time. Let's cut the bullshit, okay? You wanna smell my punani? Yeah. This fine. You know, the dark brother said he wanna smell my punani. Really? Mm-hmm. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> he goes back to the post office and meets up with his male homie, Chicago. They're hanging out, being racist to this one Mexican nigga. We got our own country, eh? Yeah? What the fuck y'all keep sneaking out? <laughs> arriba, arriba, ese! <laughs> Tupac and Chicago get ready for some annual mail trip or something. They gotta take a bunch of mail from LA to Oakland or vice versa. I don't know. Chicago asks if Tupac is bringing a girl. You gonna bring a yam? Here you go. You gonna bring a yam? What the fuck is a yam? A young tramp now, do you mind, S.A.? Yamps? I kinda like that shit. Did niggas ever really use that shit? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Go have your yams. What up, Lucky? What's up, nigga? Lounger, man. Remember Lil D? Man, yesterday he got his ass capped out. But, uh, we gonna get the fools that got him. This scene is so much harder now. Considering both of the actors in it, Tupac Shakur and Dedrick D. Gobert, both die shortly after from the same type of stupid street shit. We make a lot of jokes and shit, but don't ever get it fucked up. Shit is real out here. Tupac goes and sees his daughter. She lives with her mom. She a base head. The mom's a base head, not the kid. She don't like crack. She likes cereal, probably. Tupac's daughter has a stepdad figure, kinda. It's Tone Loke. He Tupac homeboy. They friends, also. Tone Loke, he an all-star. That's your son and this is my daughter, and don't you be forgetting. Well, it's just like I'm a daddy anyway, since they came from the same old tired-ass hooker. Tupac and his baby moms get into it. She brought a nigga over or something? He a trick, maybe? Not sure what's going on. They're not mad that the nigga is there, necessarily. It's more so because the kids are here. Also, Tupac found a crack pipe? That's probably it. Again, Tone Loke is not mad at the nigga. Nothing is out of the usual for him. Is that her man or her pimp? Probably her pimp. She a base head. Tupac takes his daughter to go live with him and his mom. She lectures him a little bit. His mom's that one lady. She plays everybody, mom. You know her? Whatever her name is, she an all-star. And you need to quit playing them video games and figure out what you're gonna do with your life, boy. Time ain't forever. Regina King's in the movie. She plays a ratchet. She's dating Chicago, Tupac's male homeboy, and somehow convinces Janet Jackson to go on this mail trip with him. Also, Janet Jackson, you fat as a motherfucker. Tupac is mad that it's Janet Jackson because she curbed him the other day, but he tries his best anyway. She fat as shit. Janet Jackson is treating this nigga Tupac like dog shit, like giving him no conversation, flat out ignoring him sometimes. Like, bitch, why did you even come? Now you kind of quiet, huh? Oh, so you one of them angry bitches, huh? A feminist. What you call me? A feminist. Tupac goes off, and rightfully so. I'd be mad too. That shit rough, bro. Have you ever had that happen before where your man's try to put you on with the girl, but she being super mean and tells you to stop staring at her and to stop following her and her family around? I hate that. Fuck you, fuck bitch! Up. Fuck you! Chicago, wake up! Lucky's leaving justice! So what? I'm trying to get some sleep. They stop by the store to get some munchies and some liquor. Regina King, she drink too much. Right after that, they get hungry. They didn't get that many fucking munchies at all. They were really underprepared for this trip. They smell some barbecue and decide to crash this random family reunion. 
That shit's kind of hilarious. These motherfuckers should have brought their own fucking food, though, honestly. They meet this old drunk nigga named Cousin P. Cousin P! Also, Janet Jackson and Tupac gotta act like a couple in order to blend in. They start warming up to each other a little bit. You ever been to one of these? No. I ain't got much family. I ain't never seen so many black folks in one spot and it ain't no fight. Let's get back to these street pharmacists that you used to see. The fuck you know? You don't even keep your fucking nails clean. You make me so hot. Are you all in love? Yeah. What would you know about love? Are you all married? Mm. Mm. Damn, what's up with these hoes? That's the scary part about family gatherings. Some old lady probably gonna pop up out of nowhere and shit on you. You know what's gonna happen. Regina King is trying to talk to some other dude. She drunk and a thought. Janet Jackson tries talking some sense into her, but Chicago already spotted her. They start fighting or something. Of course these ignorant ass hood niggas would come to a random family reunion uninvited and find somebody to fight. Come P, you don't mind if I take some of that food to go, do you? Well, no, man, you go ahead. All right, okay. Don't you worry about it, cause something don't look right over here. I'm going to have to get in this shit. I love this fucking guy, man. His old drunk ass. He's just so jolly and innocent. Not a care in the world. I wish he was my father. Gotta be. Regina King and Chicago are arguing. Poetic Janet Jackson pulls Regina King aside and tells her to stop drinking too much. They start crying. They girls. They all make up and start having fun again. Tupac wants to go and see his cousin in Oakland, who's a rapper. He says he wants to do music and hates being a mailman or something. The other nigga, he a hater. Sorry, man. Ain't all that. Fuck you, bitch. Hmm. I wonder. Nah. You probably got babies and shit. Damn. She kinda cute. Got a nice little frame. Maybe I should get that number. See how the booty work. <laughs> oh, I know what I gotta do when I get back. I gotta call Terry with his fine ass. I gotta get rid of this weak ass high top. I look like a fucking pencil man. Half man, half pistol. Also, I gotta subscribe to Prim's Hood Cinema when I get home. Also, I hope don't nobody shoot Tupac. He my friend. Janet Jackson and Tupac are warming up to each other even more. Then this hating ass nigga pop up and start talking shit again. You ain't gonna pull that. Show your lead. I'm getting tired of your black ass. They go back to the truck and Regina King and Chicago have sex. He premature ejaculate. Is that it? Just give me a couple minutes, alright? So they leave him. Nah, they really leave him because he smacks the piss out of Regina King. But I mean, bruh, I don't condone that shit. Never hit a woman in my life. She was asking for that shit. No, yo dick's the motherfucking problem. But you must be embarrassed now. Is that what it is? Bruh, I'm just gonna get up and leave like that. You know why I left. That's the reason why the other bitch left you because you can't hang. Niggas dick can't stay hard five minutes. That's the reason why I'm fucking somebody else. Like, you can see it in his face, he ain't wanna do that shit. Yeah, that's right. Brush that weak ass face. Oh, hey, you little punk! <laughs> <laughs> Nigga threw his brush. That's petty as fuck. That's too much. You gonna leave me, man? Leave the moles, man! Leave the moles! They finally get to Oakland, and Tupac and Janet Jackson like each other now. They go see his cousin, but it turns out he just got shot. Like, just, just now. I got there on time, this never would have happened. Instead of fucking with you. Um, yeah, it's kind of true. Go have your yams. Tupac does his mail shit, finally. And look, Michael Rappaport is back. He not a Nazi though, he a mailman. Sad Tupac is at his cousin's studio now. He's sad, but look at them nails though, them shits are beautiful. He stays at his cousin's place and in the morning his aunt gives him a pep talk or something. Lord. I want you to know you my favorite nephew. Ew, this nigga named Lawrence? Get up! It's important to me to know what you're gonna do with the equipment. And I'll keep it safe, auntie. Ain't nobody gonna shoot me. Everybody's living their life. It's a sad montage. Except for Chicago. We never see him again. I hope he's okay. Tupac then goes to see Janet Jackson. She meets his daughter. They kiss. It's very nice.
All in all, Poetic Justice is a realistic hood love story. It serves as a complete contrast to the cheesy, generic, overly glamorous love stories Hollywood likes to pump out. The film serves as a reminder that you can let your guard down and fall in love with a rapping mailman while still maintaining what makes you you. There's a running theme about living your life based on third party perspective or outside influences. There's a bunch of times where a random person, usually an older motherfucker, would come and question Janet Jackson or Tupac's judgment somehow. But that old dude at the party said it best. No ma'am, you have to listen. They have to think for themselves. Also, John Singleton really knows how to bring that acting shit out of these rappers. Tupac's performance was kinda amazing. That shit was raw. I mean, he's playing a hood nigga, so go fucking figure. But his delivery and his emotional range really surprised me. Make sure your yap ass hit that subscribe button too. I'm funny bro, I say funny things. Shout out to my new subscribers. Shout out to my animation homies. Shout out Review Your Life. Shout out Man of a Thousand Thoughts. Shout out Gully Boy. Shout out High Roots TV. Go check them out if you like hearing niggas talk about stuff. That's who I watch. I might take a little break in between the John Singleton movies, mix it up a little bit, I don't know. Think about doing Soul Plane next. That should be funny. That movie whack as fuck. That should be a good time. I'll get back to the John Singleton movies afterwards. Rosewood is next on the list, I believe. It's about Ring Rames. He's in the South. People races to him. Thanks for watching, man. I'm having a good time doing these. Definitely getting the hang of it. Definitely working on putting some better quality stuff out there. Thank you so much for watching, bro. Each and every viewer means a lot to me, man. Y'all don't know. Thanks again. I'll catch you in the next one. It's over.